USTC is absolutely pumping today along with a little bit of Luna Classic and cryptocurrency news. Crazy, crazy stuff. Let's talk about it. What is going on here? Remember, nothing in the video is financial advice. And we do see USTC up almost 19% today, which is lovely to see, right? I don't know if you guys know, but I lost a significant amount of money on this. And to see it pumping nicely is very good to see. And I know a lot of people are actually dumping their money into this. I just saw, where was it? I just saw a... Uh, I think it's down is it yeah i just saw this someone has actually bought eight hundred and eight thousand dollars worth of ustc 25 million uh tokens in total now if this one dollar repeg proposal actually went through that would be 25 million dollars of course this is an absolutely huge monumental run for this get to get back to one dollar but it does seem like people are getting uh excited about this and think it might actually happen. Now, I haven't bought myself any USTC since the crash, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I might because uh, I lost multiple six figures on this. And this could be a risk that uh, I'm willing to take for a little bit of a long-term gamble. Now, if I was to get into this, I would only get into it with money that I am okay with going to absolute zero. That is how I invest into projects uh, and speculation like this, because Things can go to absolute zero, and that's what you have to be aware of before you get involved in it. With that said, what else is going on? We got Terra Classic up 2%, while the overall market only up 0.32%. So again, outperforming the market. But Bitcoin has been doing quite nicely over the last few days, actually uh, breaking above our descending trend that I've been talking about, coming up and potentially coming down for a retest around these regions. Now, retesting these regions all the way down to about 19,000 would be still bullish, a continuation of a little bit of an upward trend that we've been seeing here. That would be great. We're right on this trend right now. So that would be great to continue. I actually opened up myself a little bit of a long position around these regions. We are in about a 10% profit there, but uh, it's just below here. I think it was right here on this wick that I opened it up. If you do want to do something similar, of course, I trade over on BitGet. I think it's an absolutely great platform. I use it every day. I've had no issues at all with it. And uh, yeah, you can trade on the leverage market or you can trade on the spot market with zero fees right now. So absolutely zero fees. If you want to buy Bitcoin or Luna Classic or anything like that, then you can get over $4,000 in sign up bonuses right now using the link down there in my description. So Absolutely wild, wild stuff there. Now, looking at the Luna Classic chart, we can see some bullish momentum coming into the market, which is absolutely great. I also do have a long position open on Luna Classic here. And uh, hopefully we can actually get up to these regions up here back at 003 and hopefully break through them. You can see we had a little bit of a fake out here. And hopefully what I'm hoping is we can get up there. What I don't want to see is something like this. That would be a double top pattern, which would be bearish. But if we can break above this, uh, something like this, let's say, this is what we want to see, right? So that's what I'm looking for. And right now it is looking relatively bullish after having this descending uh, wedge happen here, which is actually more often than not a bearish pattern. But we broke out of that uh, positively. We put in this new higher low here and then we continued upwards, which is great. So I'm looking at, looking at this closely. I think the chart does look good. And I am very excited about USTC and this repeg. So what people are thinking is that uh, there's a new repegging proposal that is out. You guys can uh, check it out on Twitter. Do I have it up here? Oh, I don't have it up here right now, but I'll uh, just check it out on Twitter. You can read it. It's a very in-depth uh, uh, article about the ideas around it. And there's a lot more ideas around repegging UST. And, you know, we've seen some crazy stuff happen uh, <laughs> with uh, Luna Classic that, you know, it's a very small chance of this happening. Very, very small. Again, only risking money that I would be okay with going to absolute zero. But if it did happen, again, what a monumental comeback story that would be. And that's an exciting thing to be a part of, right? So with that said, uh, I did want to talk about these tweets that are going around. Uh, two aspects of this. First of all, obviously, this is fake, right? This isn't real. And people are posting it like it's real. So I don't like to see that. It makes the community seem childish. That's not something that I want to see. We are, look at that. We are actually having USTC trending on Twitter, which is great. But back to my point, I don't want to see this stuff because this isn't real, right? Um, we also have, again, another one here, still not real. Hello, Coinbase. We're in Times Square. Not real, right? But uh, I do think potentially that uh, one day, 
Coinbase might relist it, might list Luna Classic, that sort of stuff. But I do, I am always surprised about how impatient everyone is. So Luna Classic is pumping, Coinbase will walk away, we, people will walk away from you soon, can't you get it? Like, I want people to understand. <laughs> May was when this crash happened, right? And then Luna Classic was resurrected around that time. It has not been very long since then. <laughs> Yes, the Luna Classic price has gone up. When the price goes up, people get super excited. When the price goes down a few days later, everyone gets mad and says the price is going to zero and nothing's ever going to happen. And uh, this stuff takes time. We need to be patient. Coinbase may very well list it, but it doesn't matter if they list it today or in two, three months down the line. Who cares? It's only going to do a pump and then the price will come down again. If Coinbase says, we're going to list Luna Classic, the price will pump. Normal people who are not in the ecosystem will come in. They'll buy Luna Classic by the mass. It will pump. No one will take any profits apart from me. Obviously, I'm going to take some profits, but no one will take any profits. And then the price will come down and everyone will get mad again. That's all that's going to happen when Coinbase lists it, right? So just chill out. Like We can do this. Everything is very exciting. I'm excited about this market. I think that there's still a potential that the bottom of the market is in. Of course, we have no idea. And of course, I am open for it to go lower. But hopefully, the bottom of the market is in and we can start to make some good moves. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you, of course, in the next